Yo, yo, yo. What up? Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know who it is. I'm back up in this thing again. I'm trying to try something new. Uh, I'm shooting my videos at a different time. So it's nighttime where I'm at right now. I don't know if it's daytime or I don't know what the current situation is where you guys are at, but it is what it is. Look, I hope you guys had a productive week this week. I know I had a productive week. So I'm hoping you got things done. You wrote down some of your goals. You achieved some of the goals that you had set for yourself. And you made some happen for your life and your finances and your future this week. You know what I'm saying? Every week you want to build brick by brick. You know what I'm saying? So at least if you was able to set down one brick and work toward what you was working on, then that's cool. But check this out right here, though. Um... I had recently put up a post on Facebook. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook, but y'all can hit the link in my description and it'll take you to my Facebook page and you can follow me on Facebook or you can message me or, you know, if you want to get at me, get at me. You know what I'm saying? You can go to my website, trustno.com. You know what I'm saying? If you want to book a consultation, book a consultation. Let's chop it up. Let's talk. Let's see. Help me help you. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I recently put up a post and the post was saying it's better to have a million dollars of your own money than to be in business with somebody that's giving you a hundred million like your favorite celebrities. And why do I bring this up? Why would I say I'm going to turn down a hundred million versus working towards getting my own million? You know what I'm saying? The reason I say that is because when you're in business with people that's giving you something, then you don't know the stipulations or you don't know the rules of engagement or how these people plan on getting their money back from you. They might need you to do some things in life that might not align with your morals or your integrity. You know what I'm saying? So when I say what we're seeing on the news and we seen people going to jail. The man in New York, he just got jammed up. You got this thing going on with, with uh, P. Diddy. Uh, he just, he jammed up, you know what I'm saying, for uh, different activities that's going on behind the scenes. And we don't know who else going to get caught up in these scandals, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know millionaires, people that got money, and you're not going to hear about these people in the news. They self-made, you feel me? Nobody gave them no money. They don't have to answer to nobody on the moves that they're making. And I feel like I would rather build my own million dollar uh, pot up versus taking a hundred million from these guys because you don't know what the stipulations is on getting that money from these people. That's just like when I came up, we come up, you know what I'm saying, hustling. You feel me? So when we hustle, it's like certain cats, they want to front you some work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, when they front you to work, you might need to have that money back within an X amount of time. Let's say a week, two weeks, whatever. Now, if you ain't got that money, then, you know what I'm saying, you don't know how this person might come at you. You feel me? And that's like starting out. Now, once your face card get good, or later on, you might, you know what I'm saying, take a hit, mess up some money somewhere down the line, and then, you know, if you need to get fronted something, they'll put something in your hand, you feel me? Which, you know, me, the way I came up, I was always good money. So I ain't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, owing nobody nothing or having to suffer the consequences because I done took, you know what I'm saying, this person issue and I ain't pay it back. So with the money, it's the same thing as credit. You feel me? A lot of people are saying, okay, I'm going to use my name, my credit score, and I'm going to go out here and use other people's money to fund this business that I'm trying to start or I need to start. So, okay, you go and start that business. Anything can happen when you building a business. Anything can happen when you you know, running your situation and, you know, you got overhead, you got payroll, you got inventory, you know what I'm saying? So 
if something go wrong, these people still want their money. You feel me? And if you ain't got their money, I mean, for so long, you can make a call to say, hey, I'm going to take care of that, that, that minimum payment or I'm going to make sure you get paid. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, if things keep piling on or different situations that's out of your control that you cannot foresee happens, these people still want their money at the end of the day. So now you default on a business loan or a business deal. Next, now they're trying to sue you. Or next, you getting judgments filed against you. You know what I'm saying? And these court situations become costly. You know? So if you ain't making the type of money that you need to make to make good on that money that you borrowed or that situation you got fronted to you, then you don't know what the consequences may be. So the post really was about being able to build your money up. That way you ain't got to go that route asking nobody for nothing. Nobody don't need to front you nothing. You ain't got to worry about your morals or your integrity being compromised. You ain't got to be in no different situations. You ain't got to worry about nobody trying to frame you. You ain't got to worry about nobody trying to set you up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like me, hey, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to manage my money. I'm going to budget my money. I'm going to pay, pay, you know, my current bills, mortgage, light bill, car insurance, uh, cell phone bill, food, gas. You know what I'm saying? People have to stop playing out here. And when I say stop playing, it's like I sit back and I watch. You know what I'm saying? I see on the internet, it's a lot going on. And don't get it twisted. I'm entertained. I like to laugh. I like to watch what's going on. But at the end of the day, like the conversation, like how I started on the conversation, everything going to come back to you. So when, when you sitting back scrolling Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, watching your favorite YouTube channel, I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with that. But when your business ain't handled and you lagging behind and your money ain't straight, then what 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 outcome do you really truly expect? You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying is I want you guys to start focusing on building, working towards your first thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Work toward getting your first ten thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars, your first million. Don't worry about going to borrow the money. I mean, if you go, if you got a for sure shot business that you're working on, your credit straight, you good money. You gonna pay these people back. You got a backup plan. You got a nice savings just in case something do happen to where you on default on that loan. Hey man. Be my guest. Go and borrow what you can borrow and just make sure you make good on what you took. But at the end of the day, a lot of people get so blindsided by the, 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 the fame. They get blindsided by the material items, taking the trips. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting back listening to, you know, the stuff that this mayor was doing. And it's like, bro, you, you done signed off to be uh, a leader in this city and you out here doing egregious activities knowing that all this stuff is against the law with the the money it just blindsided dude so now he got to go suffer the consequences you feel me and it's like so many people get blinded by the riches and the fame and the clout and you know wanting to be in position then they forget the real reason why they started on their journey to do what they need to do. And that's what I really want to make this video about. Like me, I'd rather just build my own money up. I don't want to borrow no more money from nobody. I don't want to take nothing from these people because when these people come, you see how they come. They gonna set the stage to where your money ain't even gonna be no good. You feel me? Now if you don't mind going to do five or 10 years, and you, you know what I'm saying, wanna slip under the table, and slip through the cracks and do what you need to do. Hey, be my guest, man. Go ahead and do what you need to do. But I ain't got time to be sitting in no prison cell, sleeping with one eye open. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because, man, you go in that prison or you go in that penitentiary, 
you might not come back out. You feel me? Blessings and abundance to the guys that went in and came out without a scratch on them. But I guarantee, you feel me, they got some stories to tell you on, you know, what went on in that place. You feel me? I was listening to one dude. He was saying that shit like a, it's like a, a haunted house. You feel me? When you hearing voices, you know, coming through them walls. You sleeping on that cold steel. You feel me? Them, 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 them bars hitting, you know, them bars hitting that, 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 metal on metal you feel me man i don't got time for none of that so what i what i want to convey to you guys is the best thing to do is go out here work hard set you some goals put you a budget in place stay away from the distractions don't allow nobody to tell you what you can and can't do don't let people shame you into if you're gonna work you know what i'm saying like I be talking to my peoples and they like, oh man, damn, you working? Man, I gotta pick up extra hours, bro. I gotta do what I gotta do. You feel me? If you don't understand that, then hey, send me a thousand dollars right now. You feel me? That's 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 my new I don't wanna hear what you're talking about. Don't recommend nothing that you got going on to me if you ain't got a, a bag that you can send over here so I can take care of my bills. You feel me? And it ain't just about bills, it's like once you set that goal for yourself and once you create that tunnel vision in your mind and, you know, you know how you need to get your rest, you know your uh, your window, your time schedule on what you need to be doing. So with that being said, go and get it done. Don't allow nobody to distract you. Or you ain't going to the club this week. You ain't uh, buying no alcohol. You ain't buying no weed. You feel me? Focus on what you need to do. So you can get it done that way later on when everybody who was partying now, they're going to be part they're going to be working hard uh, in a couple of years or a couple of months or however long it's going to take for you to get elevate your situation. And then guess what you're going to be doing? Kick back, taking the trips, checking your account, business running smooth, more businesses being generated, that email list is filling up. You get to work your, your your angle from the internet, from your computer, from your laptop, from your cell phone. You feel me? Money coming in. If you choose to work, you can go to work. You know what I'm saying? You might not work the five or six day work week. You might just want to do four days or you might want to do three days or you might want to say, hey, the hell with the job. You feel me? These are things now that you got to make up in your mind the decision to say, look, I'm going to go ahead and make these decisions, make these changes. This choice that I made is beneficial to what's going to happen for the future. And a lot of people, what I'm starting to see is I'm not sure if they even see a future for themselves. It's just people just out here, you know, day by day, they don't mind uh, not having. I can't live like that, man. I got a certain life that I chose to live. and my life requires me having things you know what i'm saying working hard and you know managing my time staying away from distractions you know what i'm saying and i want you guys to adopt that formula or adopt that system flush out everything that's telling you not to work towards your goals flush out everything in your mind that's telling you not to uh go toward or work hard and you know, save your money and stay on your budget. And you feel me? Like everybody telling you, because I I see on the internet they they when they when some of these people talk to you, they try to make it look like you missing out. You know what I'm saying? And you're not missing out. If you're in debt right now, your best option on making the switch to what you trying to do or what you need to be doing. You got to pay off that debt before anything is going to transpire. And people just telling you, oh, yeah, just take the money and go ahead and spend it now or invest it now. How you going to invest when you still owe? You know what I'm saying? You never going to get in a position to where you can increase your investments. It's like uh, I'm listening to the lady. She was talking about the stock market, uh, $25 a week. You know what I'm saying? You could pay twenty five dollars. I think I don't know if it was twenty five dollars a week or twenty five a month. But me personally, I got different uh, stock accounts, so 
I invest, well, on one of my accounts, I got 25 a week. So that's $100 a month that I'm putting into my stock situation. You feel me? If you can't do $25 a week, hey, start with $5. But what I'm saying is, if you still owe and you got that bad debt that you need to be knocking down, don't invest nothing right now. Knock out that bad debt, then get back to trying to invest. Because even with the stock market, that's not going to get you rich tomorrow night. And people selling you on, oh, yeah, invest your money and do this and do that. And people, like, they brainwash to what's going on. And, you know, it's just like everything is moving so fast with the Internet and, you know, stuff coming at you. People just really need to slow down, get in they, stay in their lane, you feel me, or create a lane for yourself that's going to uh, create. Create a lane for yourself that you're going to be able to manage and drive through. You feel me? You don't want, just because everybody doing 125, your car might only could do 65. You feel me? Get in the 65 mile per hour lane, and then as you elevate, then you can start switching lanes and speeding up. You feel me? But right now, it's like you're not going to get rich tomorrow night. You feel me? You see what's happening with the people that, that's got the money. These people, the, the folks that make the money, that print it up, they letting you know your money ain't no good. So whatever scam you thinking about running or whatever uh, get rich quick uh, play that or scheme that you're going to come up with, man, these people already got it. They don't put it on, they don't put it on the internet. They make the rules. They change the rules. They break the rules. You feel me? But guess who's going to be suffering at the end of when they get through doing what they need to do you feel me i want to stop you guys from that thought process start thinking about how you can tra change your situation by staying in your lane and working toward what you need to work toward so you can get the way you're trying to go in life and like i said in the beginning it's better to create your own million dollars than to take a hundred million dollars from the same people that your favorite celebrity is in. That's why so many is going to jail and so many is being compromised right now. But I ain't want to talk y'all head off. It's a short video. Hey, y'all boys, hey, stay focused on what you need to be doing. Uh, stick with your budget. That bad debt, go ahead and handle that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to sit down. You ain't got to be at every club. You ain't got to buy every new pair of shoes that come out. Or you ain't got to, you know, just lay low for a little while. Get off the scene for a minute. You feel me? Set yourself up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a small setback for a major comeback. You feel me? Stay focused on what you need to be doing out here. It's your boy Trust No. I'm out.